In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your discussion area in a Canvas course so that your students can ask questions, respond to things, or complete discussion assignments. Now, Canvas is a little bit different than some other LMSs that I've used in that it gives you the option to let students start discussions. So the first thing I would suggest you do before you get into creating discussions or deciding how you're going to use it is decide if you want your discussions to be student-created instructor created or to have a combination of instructor created discussions and student created discussions. If you want a discussion to be graded, it's definitely something you're going to want to create as the instructor. If you want to have the discussion area kind of just be a free for all FAQ, um, students helping each other sort of situation, you might not need to create any discussions and just let the students create them all. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you how to change the settings re regarding whether or not you want students to create their own discussion posts. So I'm here in a Canvas course and I'm going to go down to settings and then on the course details page I'm going to the very bottom and I'm clicking on more options and here there are a couple of options for discussion topics so in our system by default the let students create discussion topics box is checked yours might be the same or it might be different um, if you do not want to let students create discussions because you're using this for a grade and you want to really kind of lock it down and keep it organized um, you might uncheck this box. Another thing you might want to consider changing is the let students edit or delete their own discussion posts. I'm going to go ahead and uncheck that and unless you have a strong reason to keep it checked I would probably recommend unchecking it simply because if you're letting students reply to one another if somebody edits or deletes something that's replied to it can cause responses to get lost or cause problems. So at any rate, um, I'm going to go ahead and leave the let students create discussion topics box button checked and then I'm going to uncheck let students edit or delete their own posts. But take a look at these settings first and decide how you want to use the discussion board. Like I said, if you're wanting to use it just kind of for a Q&A for students where they can control the discussion, you might just want to let them create things and not build any on your own. So I'm going to hit update course details. And then while I'm in this course details area, um, we want to make sure that your discussion board area is visible to students. So right now you can see on mine, all of my little navigation pieces are visible to students, but in some systems they're not like that by default. So if I go here to navigation, it might be that discussions is appearing here in this hidden area. If it is, you simply need to click and drag to move things from the hidden area to the visible area. So Mine is already there, but I just wanted to show you it's under navigation under settings. So I'm going to go ahead and now just go back to my home page. So now my students have the option to create a discussion and I have the option to create discussions. When you are creating discussions, um, if you're trying to decide what to put within a single discussion, I would encourage you to think of it like gradebook columns. So anything that would sort of fill into one single gradebook column should have its own discussion. Um, once you make all those decisions around it, creating the actual discussion is really pretty simple and intuitive. Um, there's a giant purple button that says discussion, add discussion, and then you give it a title. So this might be assignment one, let's say. Um, you could type your description of what you wanted the students to do, and then you have a lot of options within that. You can add an attachment if you want them to base it on some sort of document or video. You can allow threaded replies, which allow students to reply to a reply, kind of like you'd see in a Facebook message thread. I do recommend checking that one. Users must post before seeing replies can be helpful, especially if you're grading something and you want everybody to make sure they're posting something unique. Um, you can allow it to be graded, so this is where you check it if you want it to tie to that gradebook. You can also allow liking or have whatever is on this show up on the student to-do list and put a date on it. So we'll say for this Thursday, sure. Um, you can also change the dates that it's available. So like I said, it's all pretty self-explanatory as far as what is on this page. I'm going to go ahead and click Save and Publish. And now I have assignment number one here in my discussions area. So I'm going to go ahead and go use the breadcrumbs at the top to go back to discussions. And now you can see that I have two discussions that I've already created. There was one before I started this video. Um, and if I want that pinned discussion, that assignment one, to be 
available all the time at the top of the list. Maybe this is the one I'm assigning, but students have the ability to create their own. I would recommend dragging this up into pin discussions. And that way when anything that students create is going to appear kind of in the list below. So you have some leeway. It really depends on what's best for your course as far as how you want to organize this. But there is the pin discussions, which are always going to be at the top and instructors can only control what goes there. Then there are regular discussions, which include both instructor and student created ones, if you allow that. And then close for comments um, would be if you want it to just be for information, but you don't want students to actively post. So that gives you a very quick, very brief nutshell of the discussions area. Um, but the important thing to remember is that students do have the ability to create discussions that could get a little bit out of control if you have a lot of students posting. So you can go to settings and turn that off. Um, and you can also create discussions that would like tie to a gradebook column if you want students to post in a certain place. If you have any questions about this, please let me know and good luck creating your discussions.